Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jeanette. Earlier today, I saw a post where a lady was uh, asking how to get her bindings on her uh, tank top to look a little bit better. And I thought, since uh, summer's coming up and I do a lot of these, I'll go ahead and do a little short video. Um, this is kind of like a raglan type uh, tank top. This is actually the Caitlin uh, pattern. But anyway, what you're going to do is you're definitely going to put the front and the back pieces together at the side seams, and then you're going to apply your armhole binding first, and then the neck. So you do both armholes, and then you'll do the neck. And I've covered uh, in another video how to do the bindings, but I'll go ahead and tell you how I do it again. So to do these, um, I take the right side of the binding, to the wrong side of the fabric and I serge it on. Now you know with these type of, of tops there's going to be a little area that has no extra fabric. It's just going to be the binding by itself. And uh, so we're going to cover out how to you know get those to line up and what have you. So um, once you get the, the neck binding surged on uh, what you want to do is you want to clip it a little bit. Don't go past that line right there so you can offset it and then you can turn it down like so and then turn it down again and then pin it. Uh, I, I got to the point where I don't pin, but anyway, you can do that. So, But when we get to this point where the armhole bind, uh, bindings are, um, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of like square it off and this surged area here you you want to cover that so you bring this down and then you flip it down but keep the fabric even so how I do that is I hold it in place right at the edge of the binding right there at the armhole binding and I put a pin there this is the only time I pin and uh, same thing over on this side, kind of square it up, make sure you got that surge area covered there. Bring it down. Again, I'm going to put my finger there because I want to keep both the uh, back and the front together, make them even. <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and put another pin in here because this area seems to get off kilter every once in a while. It'll kind of rise up like this. But, you know, put a pin in there and it'll keep it that way. But make sure you cover this surge, this surge area completely all the way around. Um, I'll show you here. Just cover it like this because there will be times People, you know, they get in a hurry and they don't. And what they'll do is they'll they'll take it right down to the edge of that surge area. And then your cover stitching is going to go above it and you're going to see it just like that. And you don't want that. You want to cover it all the way. But there you go. This is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, there's no bulk. And there's no bulk even this way. So, um... I noticed in one of the comments somebody said hammer, you know, pound it. You don't need to because it's not, there's no bulk there. You know, there you go. So uh, I hope somebody will try this. And uh, if it works out for you, let us know. If it doesn't, let me know too. Um, because I do like to know if my videos are helping anybody. So with that, happy Sunday everybody and happy sewing.